What's up science team? Today we're going to be talking about a scientific achievement of ancient history. Something that was developed nearly 50,000 years ago. Now, the structure of this device is quite simple, but the science behind it is strikingly complex. Today is all about the boomerang. <laughs> But before we get into the boomerang science, I want to say thank you to our sponsor Wix for making this video possible. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video because they have a really awesome announcement involving a website that I built with Wix. A boomerang is essentially two airfoils or wings slapped together in a banana shape. When you throw the boomerang, you throw it with a spin and it spins roughly at around 10 revolutions per second. However, the top wing is actually creating ever so slightly more lift than the bottom wing. And that's because this top wing is moving ever so slightly faster than the bottom one. This in turn then creates a torque. And now while you might think that that torque would then eventually flip the entire boomerang over, it doesn't. And it doesn't because it's spinning and so the boomerang has angular momentum. So what that torque does though is it changes the direction of the angular momentum, thus returning the boomerang back to the place where it was thrown. The first time that I threw a boomerang and caught it, my mind was blown. And so immediately I started thinking, how big could I make a boomerang and the laws of physics still apply, like that I would throw it and it would still come back to me and I could catch it. And so I started doing some research on YouTube and I found this guy, Victor Poulin, who is like the YouTube boomerang guy. And Victor started telling me about how to make boomerangs and I learned that boomerang construction is very specific. In boomerang construction, you need a leading edge and a trailing edge. The leading edge is roughly 45 degrees down this way, and the trailing edge is 15 degrees down this way. And what that does is that creates the airfoil. So the first five foot boomerang that I built was a replica of Vic Poulin's five foot boomerang. Nice beveled edge. So uh, let's see if it works. This thing is giant. It is so big. I mean, it's literally as tall as I am, as you can see. I have figured out through watching Vic that the best way to throw it is actually in the center like this, across this way. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. <laughs> wow. Ooh, it broke, I think. Oh no. Toasty. It's gonzo. You can see how the wooden one is really scary to catch because it kind of looks like a giant lawnmower blade spinning back at you. Also, it's strong, but it's not indestructible. And so ultimately, we ended up destroying our wooden boomerang. I started thinking about other materials that I could possibly use in order to make a boomerang that I could catch that would also be super sized and giant like a five foot boomerang. So that brought me back to the idea of the foam glider. Like every time that we ever use a foam glider, I was never worried about throwing it because at full speed it could hit you and it really wasn't a big deal. So then I thought, what if I used this two inch foam board? It's like what you use to insulate a house. So what I basically did is I carved a giant boomerang out of this two inch foam board. <laughs> it works, it begins to rotate. The problem is that the boomerang is actually just too light. We're gonna take the GoPro down. I just want to see if we can accomplish getting this angle and what that would look like in flight. The first ever boomerang GoPro flight. Let's see if it actually happens. No! 
she gone done and broke. Well, do a duct tape. Well, this one was built correctly. It wasn't heavy enough to get enough rotation in order to actually create gyroscopic precession and then return to the person throwing it. So this prompted me to double the thickness of the boomerang. It definitely functions like a boomerang. So that one worked very well. Every time I threw it, it went up in the air, it rotated, and it came back to me. However, it had kind of the same effect as the wooden boomerang, in that I was kind of scared to catch it because it was so massive. So I was like, there's gotta be a middle ground. So I started thinking back to the construction of the wooden boomerang, and I realized that's made out of plywood. So what if I essentially made ply foam board? So I glued together three one-inch pieces pieces of foam board and constructed the third boomerang out of that material. Oh boy. Oh, I could have caught that. <laughs> I could have caught that. You could have caught that. Oh, oh, you're so close. Oh my gosh, it's really good. It's so good. <laughs> if there's just a better place that we could go. I don't know. There was too much wind in our other location, so we came lower uh, down in the park. We were kind of like on a hilltop. And so we're gonna do our last test out here. I'm very confident because there's just not a lot of wind. Feels really good. Oh, oh so close. So close. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! Yeah! Wow! After review, it is a fumble. There was also an illegal forward pass. So as you guys can see on the last throw, I didn't catch it. And I was so disappointed that I actually made a whole new boomerang when I came home to visit Ohio. And so I'm out here with my best friend, Nate Zana. What's up? We're going to test the fourth boomerang, which is the same construction as the third boomerang, but have applied a little bit more duct tape and the material is a little bit more dense. Let's catch that boomerang, mate. Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts so bad. It was so close. That no, it was it. It hit the ground. It hit the ground. That Wait. was so close. Oh, oh dude. Oh. Wow. Caught, man. Wow! It nailed me right there! But that caught, that went up in the air, totally came back around, it boomeranged, and I caught it before it ever touched the ground. As the first ever five foot boomerang thrown and caught. The boomerang has a lot of history behind it. I'm pretty sure we made our own history today by creating the first ever three ply foam five foot boomerang that actually returned back to where I threw it from. And I had so much fun creating the boomerang and then throwing it and then attempting to catch it that I think you would too. And for this reason, I created a website called nickopediastore.com where you can purchase items that we create in the Nickopedia episodes. And the first item that's gonna 
go in the store are detailed plans to this five foot boomerang. Also, every time I've ever made a website, I've made that website through Wix, and this website was no different. Wix is a free platform that allows you to build customizable, professional, and robust websites. There's a professional solution for everything you need, like videos, photos, and in my case, e-commerce. There are also tons of super good-looking designs with a ton of design options that makes your website look super pro. Also, the Wix technology allows you to intuitively create a website, whether you're a novice, a business owner, or a professional website designer. When I was creating the Nikopedia Store website, I found that the Wix drag-and-drop editor allowed me to create the site exactly how I wanted it to look. I even put a Nikipedia video as the homepage background. Also, because Wix is so intuitive, building the site is simple and rewarding. I especially love the alignment function because I get a sense of satisfaction when things just fit together so perfectly. There have been so many times that I've built something in a Nikipedia video that I've just wanted to share with the audience, and this site gives me that opportunity. So let me give you a rundown of the new Nikipedia store site. The new arrivals will be right here up front, so you can't miss them. And if we're ever doing anything like a free digital download, it will also be right here. I have my Instagram page feed down here at the bottom, so you can see what new experiments and cool science things we're getting into. And in the shop section, you'll see a new Nikipedia shirt. It's not out yet, but it will be soon. And last, there is the contact section. If you ever have a suggestion for a new item or an idea for a video, Video, drop us a note right here. Click the link in the description below or go to Wix.com to start your website today. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you really soon.